What's good y'all, White Boy Entertainment, and today I'm about to show y'all the best pure lockdown build in 2K21. Y'all stick around to the end of the video, make sure you drop a like, drop a sub. If y'all saw my last, not my last video, but the Paint Bees video I made that's been getting a lot of love, the 6-8 Paint Bees Pure Red. And I've decided this year, even with for next year, I'm gonna make a pure red build. I just don't know what I'm gonna make because there's a lot of, like Brother Jones, shout out Brother Jones. He's making a, he made a point guard, like 6-8 pure lock, that shit's fire. But I'm, this year I'm, I wanna be a horse. I was probably the most unique build in the game last year, that 6-7 pure red. But I don't know, like I have, I made a build this year with like 93 strength, like a big buff dude. He still gets contact dunks, but I noticed it was just kind of freaking me out because I couldn't get like the 95 exact defense. But yeah, go pure red pie chart. Um, and for this, a lot of people like to go pure speed, but I think for me, I'm like a defense priority. So I think vertical, those blocks and those speed is probably better. But if I'm going to be playing, like if you're going to play this, but like this build, I'm going to make this like a, a, almost like a center kind of build. So this is going to be like a Ben Wallace, like six, nine pure lock, not like a six, six speedy. This is like a center type lockdown. The only thing about this build versus the power forward is that when you do it, it gets Besides the strength, obviously being not even close, you get a little bit less finishing badges. But the thing is, you get when you do max that out with the height and the arms, instead of getting like a 91 offensive rebound, you get 95. And I feel like that four attribute is the difference between me getting snagged on in park and actually getting every single offensive rebound. Because I've been getting, not snagged on, but just like not every rebound that I want. Maybe I'm just tripping, but I don't know. So you're to max out the finishing. You get 16 on the Pain Beast build, but it's all good. On this one you get you can get 15 40 post hook and on this one on my last on the paint beast build i did five shooting badges i don't i'm not going to do that that's not productive if it was last year i would have done that like if it's 2k20 i would do like i'll do that but i i mean it's still my build for now but for next year i'm going to change it so here's what i like to do play on this but i'm gonna do playmaking because like i don't know a little bit of playmaking helps lock down like quick first step and shit i actually have a little quick iso lockdown that can play like a pure slasher and it's gonna have a 95 rebound and shit too. Just wait. All right, we still somehow got five playmaking badges. The thing is, I'm not gonna do 30 defense badges. I know steel's important, but it's the least important thing on this list. You need ladder hookness, all that. Steel is just gonna be lucky. Like interceptor, you can, it matters a lot. It definitely matters for sure, but it's not gonna affect anything. I mean, like, it's just lucky, like, pickpocket. Most of the 2K, like, it's bullshit animation, so it'll be good with the badges. That one defense badge, I'm going to miss that. But what the thing is right here, I have the 60 mid range just because, I don't know why, I just feel like it's, you need it. Like, I'm not, I can never do no shooting. I just feel like a 60 mid range if I'm playing twos, and I just got to step out a tiny bit. I can just kind of green that. If they're, like, a double team in my guard, I want to be at least have, I want to have some use on offense. Okay, here's what y'all can do. Y'all can decide. Since you're going to be, like, a small forward instead of power forward, I'd probably recommend this since you're more you're prioritizing speed over, like, you know what I mean? I would do, I'd probably do, I'd lower that, do 68 layup, and I would go, I would do this. There you go. Perfect. And so I think that's, I think that's worth it. One finishing badge for two playmaking, that's like a, it's like gold quick first step, maybe like bronze bailout. You can even probably run like flashy passer if you're like really, or like you see what Joe knows, there's like flashy passer with like with a guard or something. This would be like a demigod all around lockdown. It actually like has some playmaking. It's kind of fire. And you still get mid range. So if it's hopefully if it turns into what 2K20 kind of was last year, I could still green mid ranges. Maybe with like some bronze catch and shoot or bronze range or something. But hopefully, I don't want to do like with the paint beast. Give him five shooting badges and not even shoot a jump shot. So I'm gonna make this whole build. I'm gonna make everything like worth it. You know. So I guess we'll just throw it on the layup. All right, so there y'all there have it. This build is it's probably the best lockdown build in the game. Better than a point guard just because you end up when you... I don't know, it's just better. Because watch what I do. Just watch. So I think... I did built last time because it looks cool and buff. But slide is actually better. People say it doesn't matter, but it does. Slipping around screens. Just shit like that. It just... I don't know. I feel like it matters a lot. But it does have downsides. Like setting screens and getting box outs. I feel like it matters. So we'll see. The most important part of the video right here is you want to make them like... What's it called? I'm gonna make them six. I tried six eight. I looked at it, and y'all notice this is a small forward. My power forward, I made him six eight, and he had like a 93 defense, which is not 95. Like a 93 rebound is still probably insane. I still snag, but for some reason my OCD wants me to get that 95 so bad. 
But my main question is for y'all. I don't want to give y'all false information. I need someone to comment down below how much strength matters. Like, because I've noticed I snag way more in this build. But is it just because I'm like, is it because of the strength? Is it because of like, you know what I mean? I'm like, last year, I'm like, I had like a no strength, but I had a 95 vertical and I would snag. I didn't feel like I snagged as much as I do this year. So y'all comment down below if strength is actually a huge factor, if it's just not that important, because I, I want to make another build like, I want to make a build like this again, kind of like redo my paint beast and I'm making like a fast skinny lockdown that can still snag, but y'all comment down and let me know, y'all comment let me know if strength is actually important for rebounding and shit. But yeah, you want to make him 6'9", trust me, 6'9", because then a 6'9 power forward, pay attention closely. Everybody tells me to make a 6'9 paint beast power forward, you can't do that. Because you don't get, you can't get an 85 driving dunk. And if you do get an 85 driving dunk on a 6'9 paint beast, you're going to have a 77 strength and have shitty physicals. This build, you're still, look at this, bro. Just watch, 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 watch. And you can't do the strength pie chart on a small forward because then you'll end up with like an 84 driving dunk. They know what they're doing, bro. So just, just watch this. The best build that has like strength and can snag and still gets contact dunks is definitely my 6'8 paint beast. The best all around like big man build. But if you want to like, a fun defender and still get like the 95 defense and just test it out which i'm going to see which one's better this year six nine minimum weight not minimum because look at that you need that little plus one interior defense 191 exactly max out the arms of course and you get you do have a 50 strength but i don't know look at that dude my other boat has like a 91 offensive rebound and this one has 95 95 95 and that just i like that shit like 95 all those like the right there i feel like that makes a difference and i still have a 95 standing dunk the main catch that people aren't realizing, if you're going to make this build, I want to say this is better than the paint beast, but the main thing is the downsides. I'll tell you the pros and the cons. The pros, you get more playmaking, and you get better, like you're faster. The vert But the thing is, you got to think about this. The vertical, I only have like plus four speed and plus two vertical versus having a 93 strength with a 75 speed on a power forward. The only benefit this build has really is playmaking badges, a little bit of speed, and you get a little bit more defense. You get the 95, 95, 95, which I'm thinking right now is a huge difference, but at the end of the day, maybe not. So I don't know. And then and another huge downside to the small forward is I don't think you can get big man contact dunks, even with a 95 cent dunk. So y'all keep that in mind. I still think this is a great lockdown build, better than the point guard or the, the best lockdown build. The pain beast build might be better for like snagging and stuff, but this is definitely the best defender build. I mean... I don't know though. If you want to actually a lockdown, I would do. I would max out the steel. This is more like a, like a small big. Let me quit talking. Max arms. And then for this one, this is tough. I say since you're gonna, I would do slashing. Just I would probably do slashing, you know. But since I went out of my way to have the 95, 95, I would be like the small forward glass take. That's just me because I want to be comp. But slashing takeover is probably insane. Like jump over people and shit. So it is tough. I'd probably do slashing, but it just depends how much, if you really want to be cold or you want to be have fun. Ah, it's so tough. Let's do slashing. I think this might be called a finisher. Yeah. It's another downside of this build. Nobody wants to be called a finisher, dude. It's the best pure lockdown build in the game, and it's called a finisher. But look at that. Jonathan Isaac is like a 6'10 pure lock. Michael Porter Jr., he's like an offensive player. But Lamar Odom, that's cool. I've never seen that before. I've never seen Lamar Odom on here. You know, he's like a point forward. Let's get it though. The shitty it's a shitty build name, but it's it's a top five lockdown build for sure. Always max out. What? Always max out the three badges you want to max out, especially when you're on like a smaller type small forward or under. Fancy, contact, slithery. Silver consistent at least. Maybe like bronze giant slayer. Maybe silver. And then shit. See, that's the thing, like, there's not enough finishing on that, that's the only thing. Like, this build still, you'll get the same amount of contact dunks and shit. You don't really need Hall of Fame, but um, if you did have Hall of Fame, you'd be fucked, because you'd have not enough badges to put on. Like, three Hall of Fames and a silver. So, yeah, I would do, I guess, uh, you could just do gold consistent and not worry about it. Or you'd do, like, bronze lob city, but I think that's a waste of a badge. I don't know, maybe a bronze acrobat, just to kind of help, like, hop steps if you miss one. I have a low, uh... I have a low layup, so I'd probably, that'd probably help a lot. I like to do bronze range extender. I feel like that's the best shooting badge, hands down, or bronze catch. Depends what your situation is. Playmaking, it's a big deal on a lockdown. I'd say this is tough, kind of. Probably just quick for uh, bronze unpluckable. 
You could do that, but if you want to be like, if okay, that's what I would do to have like fun and just on a three score, like not giving a fuck. But if I want to be comp, I don't know. I'd probably go like this. I'd be like, I don't know, dude. It's kind of hard. Runs applicable has to just be there, just because if I'm gonna get all the playmaking, I need to not get ripped. Handles for days, probably gold or silver. Probably just like this, honestly. Because bailout this year, I forgot. That's why I mentioned bailout is. You can literally have Hall of Fame bailout without putting it on this year. It's kind of a glitch. Or maybe even like Space Crater. You could do that. Some shit. It's up, it's up to y'all. But this, that's the thing about this lockdown. But you're a pure defender. But that playmaking kind of adds a lot of, adds some sauce to it. And you're 6'9". You know what I mean? It's just like, ugh. Like quick first step gold on a 6'9 long ass lockdown. That might be fire. That's what I'm trying. That might, be, that might give this build. This is the only thing that gives this build the edge. I don't know if it's better than the Paint Beast, but y'all y'all let me know in the comments which build y'all like better. And then defense badges, I have 29. It's kind of weird, but let's see. We're pretty much a center, don't forget. I don't need to protect our Hall of Fame. Y'all know that. We need that Worm. Chase down, Clamps, Intimidator. What else, dude? We're huge. And we don't need, uh, we don't need that, what's it called? I say do Tireless Defender, Hall of Fame, Chase down. Look at that. We're fucking, we're on fire. 29 defense badge. This is the best lockdown build in the game. Let's fucking get it, dude. That 7 playmaking adds this. I don't know. I like that 7 playmaking. I might even make this build for next gen. <clears throat> but there y'all have it. The best lockdown build in NBA 2K21. Y'all drop a like. Make sure to drop a sub. 2K subs on the way. And comment what build you want to see next. And comment your build. Yeah, comment all that shit. Comment your build in 2K21. Comment your rep. And comment what you want to see next. Love y'all. I'm out.